your first time in Italy or have you ever been yet? Oh, this is my second time. Yeah, it's um, it's great here. I came here about a year, yeah, I think about a year and a half ago now. Um, yeah, it was great. It was just, it's just like, it's always good to come back here. So, and when did you start to make your record? I started, I mean, I started probably about 18 months ago. I started kind of like coming up with the different ideas for it and everything. All the, all the songs from the album were probably written in the last sort of six to eight months. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty recent album, even though I've sort of been working on it for a while. All the songs are pretty recent. So, and what about your work with your producers? So, what kind of help did they uh, to to your songs, and what what is your approach even writing songs? Well, I write, I write, I write all the songs like sort of from a very simple place. Like everything's me and a guitar, and then you know, I guess then I take them to Mark, and then he takes them to the Dat Kings, and then they kind of construct the song, you know, from there. So it ends up being. The song is already written before Mark gets it, and then and then he'll sort of produce the song um, from that point on. You know, um, yeah, it was a it was fun making the album. It's it's really cool making an album with like a bunch of great musicians as well, and having them sort of come up with their own little arrangements and stuff on on songs. But but all the songs are written before they get them. So, and what about your personal inspiration and influences in your music? So, what? What is the artist you love the most? I mean, my favorite. I mean, my favorite singer really of all time is Stevie Wonder. Like, that's kind of where my heart is. I mean, I grew up listening to like lots of different stuff, but like my earliest sort of um, my earliest influences are like really kind of you know it's like R and B, like really kind of cheesy R and B, like Boys to Men it was like one of my first. Um, really big influences as a singer um, and then from there I kind of like you know discovered sort of you know gradually like discovered sort of um, you know Stevie Wonder and, and Donny Hathaway and Marvin Gaye and all the great soul singers um, Otis Redding you know a lot, of, a lot of different artists but at the same time I was listening to a lot of hip-hop um, and listening to a lot of like you know Jeff Buckley or you know Radiohead a whole, a whole range of different stuff so now if I sit down and think like what exactly influenced me, it, it comes from so many different places, it's hard to really pinpoint one or the other, you know. So an artist as uh, Stevie Wonder or Otis Redding are very far from a young crowd uh, where you are a young target, you are oriented with your music. So what do you think that that artist can bring to young people that listen to your record? Well, I think the music that I love of their music the most is, is when they were my age and when they were young. Um, like Otis Redding was 26 when he died. So all of the music that I love of his, he made when he was a young man. Same thing with Stevie Wonder. I mean, he was really young when he made his music. So, well, the, the, my favorite stuff of his was when he was really young. Um, but I think that, you know, these days, I think people would really kind of I think listening to a lot of old music because it was made from a, you know, a, a sort of a, a very pure place. I think back then, before record companies and everyone worked out a way to make a whole lot of money off it, you know, um, people were were really making music for for the love, you know. So I think that that's, if anything, the essence that that I really admire from the music, you know, is is that kind of passion for honesty. So have you ever think, thought to, to make music or, uh, since you were a child or uh, is something that, that has came to you very later? So when, how did you grow up? Um, music was with me since I was four. I started playing the violin when I was four years old. Um, and then when I was ten I started singing. So I've always, I've always sung my whole life. Um, when I was about 14, I started writing songs, 14 or 15. So for me, it's just, it's not been like a choice that I made to be a singer. It was like, I was a singer always, you know? So this is just a thing that I have to do, you know? So what about your family? So what do, you, do they think about your, uh, your work and to be a singer? I mean, they, they, they're big music fans, they love music. Um, 
I think there wasn't really, I dropped out of high school when I was, you know, 17. Um, and I didn't really have a lot of opportunities as a kid, you know, to like, you know, I wasn't going to be a lawyer or a doctor, you know, I wasn't from a very rich family, you know, so for me it was more about like, um, I think music was probably the best option, if you know what I mean. My, my, I know my mum was always, like, was very supportive of me doing music, especially when I got my first record deal, that was definitely like, you know, I was very fortunate in a way because it gave me something sort of to focus on that was sort of positive. So do they give, uh, do you so much support in what you are thinking, what you are doing then? Did, did they never told you to stop to do music and to do something else or? What would I do, <laughs> you know? I mean, no, they, they were very supportive of it. Um, I think, you know, I was, I was get, I, you know, I got into a bit of trouble as a kid, you know, so like as a teenager. So for them, music was the best thing for me, you know. Um, I think that they were always just very supportive of whatever I, whatever I wanted to do as well, you know.